Generally, in DC-DC converters, we use boost converter to increase the voltage and we use buck converter to decrease the voltage. And there is other converter which can do about two converters work which can increase the voltage as well as it can decrease the voltage that is buck boost converter. In this video, we will study and design that buck boost converter using MATLAB Simulink. This is the circuit diagram of buck boost converter. It contains input DC voltage source and fully control switch. You can take any switch like HGBT or MOSFET, okay. And we will take one inductor and diode. And here we are taking the capacitor with load, okay. So you can take any load. I am taking here simple resistive load. This is the basic circuit of buck boost converter. But to design this in the MATLAB symbolic, we need to add some extra elements. Here at the input and output, we need to take the voltage measurements to measure the voltage. Like in our labs, we are taking voltmeter right, to measure the voltage. Here at the MATLAB, we are taking the voltage measurements to measure the voltage. And we need to connect the scope and display to voltage measurements to see the response in waveform and numerical form. And here we are using the fully control switch like IGBT or MOSFET which need gate pulses to turn on and to turn off the switch. So for that we need to take the PWM generator that is nothing but pulse width modulation generator to give the pulses to our switch. So then only it can turn on and it can turn off. And finally must needed one take power GUI block to our graphical user interface. Without that we can't run the circuit. This is the overall block same as it is we need to connect in MATLAB okay. And we need to give values to this circuit okay like input voltage and inductor value, capacitor value and resistor value and switching frequency. So like that we need to give some parameters to design the circuit. Now let's see the parameters. First of all I am taking the input voltage as 50 volts and I need a output voltage 25 volts because initially I want to do buck converter then after that we will see the boost converter and I am taking switching frequency as 40 kilo h and I am taking load resistance 15 ohms and this is the DC circuit rate so we have the ripple content so I am taking that ripple content as 1% these are the values I am taking along with that we need to take the duty ratio also because to give the pulses to our switch we need to take the duty ratio okay and here formula of this duty ratio is V0 by V0 plus V in so here we already taken V in and V out we assume output voltage as 25 and input voltage is 50. Now we will got the duty ratio and also we need to take the inductor and capacitor values and here formula for capacitance C is D by resistance into ripple factor into switching frequency. So now put same values here D is nothing but duty cycle here we got the 0 0.33 resistance as 15 and ripple content I am assuming as 1% and frequency as I am taking 40 kilo h 40 into 10 power 3 you will got the capacitor value as 55.5 into 10 power minus 6 okay this is the capacitor value we need to take and coming to inductor so the formula for inductance is resistance into 1 minus duty ratio whole square by 2 into switching frequency so put the same values here we take the resistance as 15 and 1 minus duty ratio is 0 0.33 whole square by 2 into switching frequency as 40 kHz rate so 40 into 10 power 3 that is equal to you will got the 83.34 into 10 power minus 6 so these are the values we require to design the circuit in MATLAB symlink. Now open your MATLAB, go to symlink, take any version of MATLAB that is not an issue, click on blank model. So here we need to connect our buck push converter. So take all elements what you required. Take this all elements. Okay. First of all take the DC input source. So I am taking the DC voltage source. And then take a switch. I am taking the IGBT. Even you can take the MOSFET also no problem. And I am taking one inductor that is in RLC branch and take diode and take voltage measurement scope and display and also take the PWM generator and also take one constant block to give the duty ratio now finally take the power GUI block so now connect the total circuit like this take the DC voltage source and connect to the switch and take the inductor and rotate using control R and take the diode in reverse and take the capacitor and finally take the resistance load now connect the voltage measurements at the input and output and connect to the display and scope. 
and here we need to give the pulse width modulation to our switch right so give the pulse width modulation generator to gate of our igbt now take the constant and give the pulse width modulation as duty ratio so now take the values we already derived the parameters right so take same parameters here so take the input voltage as 50 and output resistance as 15 and take the switching frequency as 40 kilohertz and take the duty cycle 0 0.33 and take the inductor and capacitor values 83.34 micro henry and capacitor value is 55.5 microfarad okay so that's it we designed our model and given the values so now run your circuit now it is ready you can able to see the input and outputs so here we are taking the 50 volts as input rate you will got the 50 and even scope also you can able to see the waveform in the dc nature so here you will got the 50 volts dc and coming to output we assumed it as a 25 volts right and here you will get the nearer to 25 and also you can see the scope so it is nearer to 25 volts so this is the buck operation to convert that 50 volts into 25 volts now let's see the boost operation using same circuit so just change the duty cycle i'm taking like 0 0.75 i need boost operation right means i need to increase the voltage that's why i'm taking 0 0.75 okay just remember if you take the less than 50 percent it is working as buck operation if you take the above 50 percent it will work as a boost operation okay click on okay and again run your circuit it is ready now input is same we are taking we did not change anything 50 volts but you can see the output it is 145 so means it is increased that voltage okay so i did not change any circuit but the circuit can decrease the voltage and increase the voltage that is the buck push converter